we haven't had much of a chance to really get to know about Andy Dickerson, you know, since he's been hired. What, how would you, as somebody who's only just getting to know him, how would you describe him to, to somebody as, in terms of the kind of the kind of coach he is, the, the interactions you've had with him? Yeah, I mean, obviously great dude, great guy, phenomenal coach. Uh, it's been fun getting to know him, just like you. Yeah, I mean, I've only been in the meeting room, you know, a couple times with him so far, but, uh, you know, just being around him, learning the way he coaches and the way, uh, you know, he coached us out on the field has been great so far. How did it feel just to be back out on the field yesterday, getting to do some football stuff? Oh, man, it, it felt great. I've been itching to get back out there on the field, you know what I mean? Going through the whole process and doing all that and not be able to, you know, compete and do anything. Um, I mean, it felt great. That's what I've been working for my whole rehab is get back out there. Did you wake up feeling pretty good this morning? I did, yeah, yeah. No, I thought, I mean, obviously a little sore just being back out there, but, uh, I, you know, I'm not as sore as I thought I was going to be. So, you know, that was, that was a nice when I woke up. Yeah, I mean, it's been a minute, so just getting out there, knocking the rust back off. Um, but, I mean, it's fun, you know what I mean? Just learning the playbook, getting out there, moving around with the guys, you know, learning how the dudes are moving next to me, the communication, all that good stuff for sure. Is, is that the most you've done since the injury yesterday? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I've been working up doing my rehab and all that, but collectively, definitely the most I've done. Yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to learn everyone's names. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of names, you know what I mean? Learning all the new calls and new playbook and, uh, you know, all the new plays. But, you know, I mean, I think that's the beauty of rookie mini camp is just all us rookies here, you know, learning together, learning from each other. You know, if, you know, if I make a mistake or someone else makes a mistake, you know, learning from that and, you know, trying not to let it happen again. And, you know, just all the new lingo, different ways the, you know, the coaches coach. So there's been a lot for sure. Yeah, so I mean, I've never played any game time at left, but uh, Coach Moore, O-line coach, was great last year. You know, me and Trevor, we'd be in spring ball or camp, and you know, it gets kind of repetitive. So you know, he'd switch us around and move us around. So you know, I've got work at left and center. So how much has Coach Dickerson talked about getting reps there? Yeah, I mean, we were just taking it right yesterday, but he said, yeah, we're gonna once we get the basics down, we're gonna start switching around, moving all over the place. Also? Yeah. What do you look for? In a, I mean, you've had a number of line coaches over your career. I mean, what to you makes a good line coach? What, what are you looking for? Not, maybe not even in a good line coach, but just a good coach. Yeah, I mean, especially in the O-line room, there's so much you can critique on every play. I mean, even if it's, you know, an explosive run and, you know, the backer's not touched till a safety. I mean, there's still something you can always correct, whether it's, you know, uh, footwork or hand placement. I mean, there's something small that you can correct damn near on every play. So, uh, you know, just a coach that's looking at that um, and, you know, able to coach us and teach us that for sure. What's it like adjusting to a new position coach? Not only that, but you're learning new drills and techniques and things like that right out of the gate. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, you're a freshman in college again, but, you know, you're starting all over. So, you know, just learning the way they coach, you know, the new playbook, the new lingo. Um, it, it's a lot to take in, but you know, you slowly start picking it up, and you know, we've been making flashcards and all that good stuff. So, uh, you know, it's been going really smooth so far. Will you stay next week for the start of OTA? Right? Yes, yeah. You know, I'm gonna be here for, uh, you know, until we get off in end of June or whatever it is. You don't have any academic obligations? No, so I graduate in December. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's your degree? Sports management. What's it been like living in Ohio? It's been an adjustment. You know, it hasn't been bad. I mean, I've been saying there's. I feel like there's much worse states I could have moved to, you know. I, was a, I flew into Detroit, drove my stuff down here, so it was an easy move for me. Um, you know, so I'm happy to be here for sure. The reputation doesn't go along with Cleveland. It's just, it's just down there to our town. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's obviously the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry and all that, but, I mean, you know, Mike's here now. So, I mean, we're in the big leagues now, you know. It's a job. We're all here to get paid. Um, you know, we're all here to, you know, help the team win on Sunday. Yeah, I think it is. I think Michigan really prepared us well for even the whole process and, you know, the transition into, you know, the NFL. I think, you know, the way Coach Harbaugh ran it, he ran it like he was coaching a pro team. So uh, it's been a really smooth transition so far.
Yeah, I mean, obviously it's it's all ball now, so you know there's no school you got to worry about any of that kind of stuff, and you know just really focus in on the playbook, learning you know all the new lingo, and once you get that nailed down, you know the game can really try to slow down for you because you're not thinking about, hey, I gotta go this way, do all that. So you know, I mean, obviously it's gonna be bigger, faster, stronger. You know, what I mean, even the stuff from high school to college, there's another step from college to the NFL. So you know, I'm excited to see what challenges it brings. Uh, not yet. I know uh, some of the second year guys are coming back. I mean, we've been running into some of them, you know, coming in and out of the building, but uh, no, not yet. The full guard game has been a staple here the last couple of years, and obviously Joel and Wyatt are some of the best in the distance. I think you did some of that at Michigan. How much did you enjoy that? Yeah, I mean, we pulled a ton of Michigan, and, you know, that's something I enjoy doing, and I think it's a strength uh, to, you know, my game, and, you know, I'm excited to, you know, meet Wyatt and Joel and just learn from those guys. Yeah, I mean, it, it's real now, you know what I mean? You know, you got the, the parking pass to get your car in, you know, you got the little face ID. Um, so, I mean, you know, you put the helmet, the jersey on. So, you know, it's like, it's real. It's my first job, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm just, I'm excited to attack it. Can, can you explain again, uh, uh, you cooked them out last year and decided to come back, what went into that? And was, was that a group thing with the players? Because they all kind of did it. Yeah, um, you know, there's probably six of us that were debating about leaving last year um, and going to, to the league. But, uh, you know, I think it comes down to the culture we had in Michigan. And, you know, it was an individual, but, like, kind of we had a snowball effect. You know what I mean? Once one guy said, hey, I, I want to run this thing back and try to win it all, it's like, well, I don't want to be that one guy that didn't go back. And, you know, they won it all, and then you regret that for your whole life. So, uh, you know, I don't regret going back at all. It was one of the best years of my life. Was there any business? Yeah, yeah, unfinished business going into it. You know, we had two years of losing in the playoffs, and, you know, that left a bad taste in a lot of our mouths. Was there any of the, I mean, those really older Michigan players, you know, because they produced so many great offensive linemen. Was there any of those guys that came back that you really kind of latched on to that, you know, over your, while you were up there that you, you tried to, you know, learn from and, you know, pick their brain? Yeah, I mean, guys like Taylor Lewan, Steve Hutchinson, you know, they were around the building a good amount. Um, and, you know, Steve Hutchinson would come into the meeting room, you know, tell us what he saw, how he broke down film. Uh, you know, he'd be out there at practice. You know, after practice, he'd be like, hey, I, I saw this or this, talk about hand placement. Uh, so, I mean, there were definitely some older guys that came in to help us out. Do you have a favorite Harbaugh-ism? <sighs> I mean, I got a lot of good stories about Coach Harbaugh, but, uh, I mean, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. <laughs> Uh, it's been good so far. It's just great being out here in Cleveland and just learning from the new guys, seeing the coaches and everybody here. How does a guy from South Florida or Florida end up in South Dakota? <laughs> uh, it's just the relationships I built with the coaches. Coach Hodge, Coach Johansson, we built a good relationship with me and my family. And also my teammate that's there now, Josiah, we, they recruited both of us out of high school. So just me and him going there and the relationship I have with Coach Hodge, Coach Johansson, that's what led me going there. Um, it seemed like, from reading about you, that maybe you had some interest from FBS schools, but that it was important for you to stay in South Dakota and not enter the portal or anything. Can you just kind of tell us about that aspect of who you are and why it was important to stay there? Uh, it's important because my family raised me on loyalty. Like, we're loyal people, and everywhere I started, I finished from optimist to high school and college. Everywhere I started, I finished. So, in a family I built that South Dakota, I wouldn't leave them for nothing. Was that like a uh, not not really. It was a weather shot, yeah. <laughs> it was a weather shot, but it was also uh, coming from a big a big city, going to a small town. That was also a big adjustment, but I did well. You played against Missouri. Missouri was one of the teams you played last year. When you played a team like that, you know, guys like Burden and you know the guys the receivers they had. How much did you kind of elevate your, try to elevate your game in those games, and how much did you feel like that's games like that prepare you for what for the jump you're about to? Uh, I did a lot to prepare my game uh, mentally, uh, just being able to diagnose film and watch the little details that they could give me to help me play faster. Uh, I feel like that helped me play faster that game and had the game I had.
you have some good cornerbacks on this team. Mm -hmm. Have you met any of them yet? Uh, I met Denzel yesterday. Uh, it was good, you know, Coach had brought him in the locker room to see me. It was good to see him and just talk to him, and hopefully I'm going to be under, him, under his wing soon. What have these last couple of days been like for, you know, for you walking in this building and you're kind of getting a crash course not only in the National Football League, but, you know, what the Browns are going to be expecting? Mm -hmm. uh, it's been surreal. Like, it, it still hasn't hit me yet that I'm in the NFL right now. Uh, it's, it's just crazy that I'm, I'm here standing in this position that I'm in right now. And, it's been surreal, so I'm just taking it in day by day and taking it day by day. Uh, I did it in college like the past two years. I started uh, moving inside and playing inside, so uh, I'm, op I'm open to it. Uh, I just feel like the biggest thing going inside is, is, is more room inside. You know, it's a two way go. Rather than outside, you, you pretty much could send them one way. So I just say inside is two-way go. That's the biggest adjustment it'll be. What about safety? Safety, I play safety. I play safety in high school, so it, it's nothing new to me. A little bit bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Miles, I know the corners that are here already always talk about loving playing with for Brandon Lynch and how he is as a coach. What have been your first impressions of him and getting out there on the field and actually uh, I, I love Coach, man. Coach cool. Coach cool. And he's a former Missouri Valley guy, so we already established a relationship with that. So I, that, that linked us a little bit closer for him knowing where I came from and he came from the same place. But Coach is cool, and I, I like the coaching he's given me and everything he's doing with me. Uh, we played. We played St. Thomas. Uh, the major yeah, the major schools. It was good. Just going against the best competition every week. Playing St. Thomas, American Heritage, uh, Dillard, uh, Northwestern. It, it was just great going out there playing against good schools and having the competition we had down there. Did you visit here before the draft? No, sir. So when the Browns selected you, were you like? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it was crazy because when uh, when uh, Coach Barry called me, uh, I saw him on the phone. I didn't know who it was at first because when I got the phone call, my background just everybody started yelling and stuff. So I, I couldn't hear really, but I heard when he said it's, it's the Cleveland Browns, and that, I got happy right there. I just knew I was coming home. Like, what was, did you uh, talk back to him and like ask? Who, I, I I heard I heard some of the conversation. So I knew where I was going, and he told me he was going to call me later, so we ended up talking later. Jim Schwartz loves man coverage. Is that something you drive in? Is that something you get excited about, just playing guys man to man? Yeah, it, it is. I played man coverage in uh, college as well, so it, it's nothing new to me. I, I go out there and play man, get in somebody's face. There's, there's so much. There's so many teams that play zone in the NFL, so mm -hmm. exciting playing at some place where they do value playing man to man. And they Kind of put that on you. Yeah, I do. Just being able to go out there and play man on man, mano a mano, and just having to go out there and beat the person in front of me, not letting them catch the ball. A lot of uh, rookies are expected to come in and contribute on uh, special teams. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think you uh, fit into that equation? I think I fit into it well. Uh, I just go out there and play any any role they put me in. Um, I'm willing to do it, so I think I contribute to it. You getting a crash course on the new kickoff rule right now from uh, Bubba? <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> We're going to start uh, soon, I believe, but he went over a little bit in the meetings. Be out there running the drills with you? Yeah. <laughs> How much media coverage does South Dakota get? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, Are you used like, to doing interviews? Oh, um, not with like all the cameras right here, no. <laughs> It'll probably be like one or two, but no, nah, not really. We, we didn't, well, I didn't do that much media coverage, so. <laughs> Thank you.